it's difficult for developers to create beautiful graphics and animations, especially in 3D. But today, I'll show you how to use Spline to easily bring 3D content to iOS apps. Spline is a web app where you can create interactive 3D content. That means it's not just a boring 3D model, and you can export what you have made using Spline to everywhere, like web, or Apple platform like iOS and Vision OS, Android, or regular media such as images, videos, and 3D models. Once you have logged in, you see this UI, and you can create a new file to work on amazing 3D content right away. But we don't have to be experts to do that, because Splice has already provided a library of ready-to-use 3D content such as abstract shapes, character, and interactive 3D, and their contents made by the community as well, which you can check them out and modify before using it in your apps. We can select any of these contents to modify and export for our apps. I will choose one and let's see in action. Once we select it, we will get our own copy of the content, and the best thing is, we get full control of it. We can modify whatever we want, like changing color, changing position, or adding animations. Spline also provides a library of tutorials covering everything from modeling fundamentals, animations, to advanced techniques. If you're interested, make sure to check them out. However, this video focuses on bringing Spline to iOS, so let's move on. Back to the file. Click the export button. You'll see a pop-up showing a lot of export options. We can export Spline for web, Apple platform, Android platform, and common media such as images and videos. I focus on iOS, so click on Embed Album Platform. There used to be a free export option here, but we can no longer do that unfortunately. To export for native platforms like iOS and Android, we need to subscribe to one of their plans. But I have good news, once a file is exported, it's available forever. You only need to be subscribed to export the last updated file so you can think of it like an export fee, sort of. Well, I have a paid account using my own money, not being sponsored at all. I'll show you how it looks like on paid account. This is my paid account. I will show you how to export with a different file. Click the export button. Then select Apple Platform Embed. Now you can see there's a URL for this blind file and the action button changes to an update button with blue color. You only need to click update after you made some changes to the file. Alright, to use Spline in iOS app, we need to install Spline package. Let's head to the documentation. This is Spline documentation for iOS. Scroll down to see the installation steps, or you can download Xcode demo to see how it works in action. Okay, you see Spline supporting SVM. Then, copy the package URL. Then go to Xcode, File, and click Add Package Dependencies. Paste the package URL here, and click Add Package. Finally, make sure you select the right target. Click Add Package. Alright, now we have the package installed. I'll bring the spline content to our app. It's very simple. First, we import spline runtime. Then, we use spline view where we want our content to be. You see it requires a URL. 
you can use either Remo URL to download the content from Spline server, or you can download the Spline file and use it locally, which is faster, but it increases our app size. I'll start with the Remo URL. Let's go back to Spline and copy the exported URL. Then back to Xcode and place the URL here. And here we go. We got Spline 3D content right here. We can remove the container and ignore the safe area. You can see it's very beautiful. I will show you how you can easily add interactions to your content. Back to Spline Explorer. There's a menu called Play Settings. We can adjust how user can interact with our content here. I'll enable the orbit. Then I'll change the touch settings for orbit to one finger and click update. Let's see the result. Now we can touch and rotate our content around. And since blind view is a swift UI view, we can combine it with another view. For example, we can put it in a C stack. and add some text and a button. All right, next. I'll show you another way to use Spline. Here at the export screen, this time instead of copying the URL, let's click download the scene to local, then save the file where you can find it. For this video, I save to desktop. Click save, then back to Xcode. Right click and click Add Files to your app. Make sure you select the target and click Finish. Then change the URL to local URL and copy the file name with extension Spline Swift and run the preview again it still works, and even faster than before. This works perfectly with onboarding screen, where we need everything to be ready as soon as possible. However, Spline file is pretty large, so please beware of the file size. It's acceptable if you only use a single file smaller than 15 megabytes. But if you need a larger file or multiple files, you may need to use compression to reduce the file size and decompress before using. And that's how we bring wonderful 3D contents to native iOS apps using Spline. You can watch their tutorials to learn how to create your own amazing effects. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.